Let's go, girl. Listen, fool, stay the hell away. Hey, you ain't got no business being here. Hey, what are you doing there? So you're ugly and stupid, huh? Let's <laughs>
Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and everywhere there's trouble who are you like i said we had a run of bad luck in the west lost some money on a failed railway speculation we heard good men can do well in this country sure and bad men we haven't recovered as much as i hope from the war my family try. My sons are good boys, but it's been hard. Like I said... And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Yeah! Passing you. Okay.
crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Hey! Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Look, head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Whoa! Ha! Ah. Ah. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Whoa! Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. <laughs> uh-huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? Whoa. Easy. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. You're okay, boy. Easy, boy. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you?
are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got the bag! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Move, you son of a bitch! More coming this way! Out of the fields! You can just get in! Just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Come here. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Yep. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. 
All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Hey. Morning, T. You seem miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. All right then, Arthur. Hello. Morning. How old are you now? 21, 22? You know, you shouldn't ask a lady such things. All right. Sorry, don't mind me. Sounds good. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow... Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Town 
Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say adieu? Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. 
And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I got a train to catch. I want you to be quiet, you horrible little man. One more time, from the top. <laughs> Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. <laughs> 